Good morning, Connecting Point. This is Pastor Derek. I just want to come to you with a few devotional thoughts from our Following Jesus reading plan that we've been going through together. Um, I also want to take a few moments before we begin to just encourage you, if you haven't been uh, reading through or you've kind of gotten stuck or whatever the case may be, you found yourself overwhelmed with life, please take the time to get caught up with this. Um, it's important that we be in God's Word, allowing it to shape us and mold us and change us into who He's called us to be. And so uh, please, uh, if you are, if you found yourself behind, find yourself trying to, to get caught up and, and just allow God to change you. It's not about checking a box, but it's allowing God's Word to, to continue to change us and shape us. And so it is important that we be in there every day. But the passage that I want to share this morning comes from... Psalm 119, verses 65 through 72. The psalmist begins by saying, Do good to your servant according to your word, Lord. Teach me knowledge and good judgment, for I trust your command. So he begins really by saying, Teach me, God. You're, you're good, and, and you do good to me, and I want to live according to you. So teach me your knowledge, Lord, um, and, and your good judgment, because I trust in, in you, and I trust in what you are trying to show me and teach me and guide me. And so then he goes on in verse 67. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I obey your word. And so he recognizes the time that he spent before he was in, in serving God, before he became discipled by God. And he acknowledges that, that before he, he faced suffering for God, that he went his own way. But now he obeys the word of God. It goes on in, in verse 68 to say, You are good, and what you do is good. Teach me your decree. So he begins, a, again, he's pointing to the fact that he wants God to teach him. He wants to understand what God has to say to him. Though the arrogant have smeared me with lies, I keep your precepts with all my heart. So he acknowledges the fact that no matter what other people are saying about him or or what they may do, that he um, he still is... Um, He's, he's still going to keep the precepts of God with all his heart. And so in verse 70, he goes on to say, Their hearts are callous and unfeeling, but I delight in your, in your law. So despite how they are and how they treat him, he still desires to delight in the law of the Lord. It was good for me to be afflicted so that I might learn your decrees. And again, the psalmist points out that it was good for him to suffer so that he could learn the decrees of God, that he could learn the law of the Lord. And he finally finishes off by saying, the law from your mouth is more precious to me than thousands of pieces of silver and gold. And so the law that the Lord has placed, uh, that he's given and placed within his heart is more precious to him than anything this world has to offer. And despite all that he's had to go through, it's still worth it. And what a great example for us today, that despite any suffering that may come our way, no matter what people may say about us or do to us, that the suffering that we may have to endure is worth it because God is worth it, because God is love and God loves us. And we desire to um, delight in his law and understand what his law um, is telling us because we desire to, to have knowledge and good judgment because we trust in his commands and we desire to obey his word. And so today, I just want to encourage you that, you know, we can, we can uh, give thanks to God because he is good and his love endures forever. And he has done uh, so much for us and continues to do so much for us. And no matter what suffering may come our way, he is still, um, still desiring to teach us his law and to teach us his ways and to teach us um, how to live according to his will and according to his word. And so, you know, I know that we've all been in that place where we've been astray. We've done our own thing, but we appreciate being afflicted and we appreciate learning what God's law is because that continues to point us into a life of living like Christ and to, to uh, living a life that, that, um, draws other people to him and not that we of ourselves can do anything to draw others to God but God uses us to draw others to himself and so um, may that be our desire today that no matter the suffering that may come our way we know that it is far better to suffer in in learning and understanding his law than it is to 
to go our own way and to do things our own way. Father God, we love you. We praise you and we thank you this day. We thank you for your word, Lord. We desire for you to just continue to move in us, Lord. God, we're desperate for more of you and we are desperate to, to better understand your law, Lord. And if that comes through suffering, then that's exactly what we want to do, God, because we want to be able to be your love to those around us, Lord. We want to be your hands and feet, Lord God. We want to go where you send us and we want to say the right words to the right people at the right time, God because we know that you're a good, good father and your will is for none to perish, but all to come to repentance. So God, give us a deeper understanding of your law, Lord, no matter the suffering that may come our way, God, because we desire to see you move in a mighty way. God, we love you. We praise you and we thank you this day and we desire to have more of you and less of us. God, we need you. In your precious name we pray, amen. Connecting point, know that today, that any suffering that may come your way is a part of our learning to understand who God is. And despite what they may say about us, what the world may say about us, he is a good, good father. That is who he is. And he not only loves us, but he loves them. And as we learned yesterday, we, we have to be about loving the people that God has placed around us. And so I encourage you to allow God to continue to help you understand his law, his words, and um, to go and live those out in, in your daily interactions. Have a blessed day.